In this video, we will be determining the signs of trig functions and also identifying quadrants if we know the signs of trig functions. Now let me have you recall from a previous video, we looked at the graphs and we said that all of the trig functions are positive in quadrant one. Now if we move uh, counterclockwise, we see that in quadrant two, the sign is positive and of course the reciprocal, which is cosecant. And then in quadrant three, the tangent is positive and the reciprocal cotangent is positive. In quadrant four, the cosine is positive and the reciprocal, which is secant, is positive. So one way to remember this is the little saying. If you take the first letter on each of these, And then you have all students take calculus. All students take calculus. And the A from all, and then S from students, T for take, and C for calculus. That is a reminder of in which quadrants uh, you have positive trig functions. All right, let's do a couple of problems. Our question is, determine the signs of the trig functions of each angle in standard position. Well, this is in quadrant one. So um, all trig functions positive. To 60, to 60 is less than 270, 270 is here, but greater than 180. So 260 will be in quadrant 3. Tangent is positive in quadrant one and quadrant three. Tangent and cotangent, it's reciprocal, positive. The rest are negative. Right. Negative 60. Negative 60 is, we're going uh, clockwise. So down in quadrant four, uh, we have positive cosines on the right side. So this one's cosine and secant are positive. And then the rest are negative. All right, in this one, we're identifying the quadrants of an angle theta, which satisfies the given conditions. So tangent theta is positive and cosecant theta is negative. So what I would do is draw my coordinate plane. And I would indicate the two quadrants where my tangent is positive. So that would be tangent positive here, always in the first quadrant, and tangent positive here. Then for cosecant, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and I want the sine is negative in these two quadrants. So sine 
is negative and sine is negative. So in order for this to satisfy the given conditions, we want this quadrant. So I would state quadrant 3. Remember that quadrants need to be written in Roman numerals. Look at this one. And we'll draw our little coordinate plane. I want my sign to be positive. Our sign is positive in the top two quadrants. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So we're saying cosecant is positive also. So that would just be in these two. So one or two.